I'm Matt Bichard here in Dallas for NARIT's REIT World 2017. Joining me today is Steve Bedorick, the President and CEO of Corporate Office Properties Trust. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Now, I'd like to start by talking about the current environment for defense spending, where you think that's going, and what sort of impact will that have on the company's shadow development pipeline? The current budget, fiscal year 2017, is $534 billion. And the President's request for 18 is $575 billion. Um, but House and Armed Services, uh, House and Senate Armed Services Committees have both um, marked up his request at higher levels, the highest being just over uh, $600 billion. If the current budget were to be increased to anywhere in that 590 to 600 billion range, it would be the biggest increase in defense spending since the increase post 9-11. So it will have a material impact on the defense community and getting badly needed funds um, that they require. With regard to our portfolio, from an operating standpoint, the first real increase occurred in fiscal year 2016, where we went from $524 billion to $534 billion. And that manifested itself in our operating portfolio about three quarters later, where we had very robust leasing in the fourth quarter of 2016. This particular fiscal year 17 got passed in May. So we expect that to show up in some very uh, robust leasing fourth quarter of 17 and first quarter of 18. With regard to the shadow development pipeline, we've already gotten an increase based on the trend of increasing defense that we've reported in our third quarter earnings. And if we're to increase to that 590 to 600 billion dollar level, I would believe it have a material positive effect on our shadow development pipeline. And how does the geographic location of your assets really lend themselves to your company's overall strategic mission growth? So when I joined the company six years ago, my predecessor took us on a journey to really <coughs> refocus the company back on the absolute best locations where defense missions were tried, true, proven, and, and funded in good times and bad. And we really got there in 2016 with completing the last of our uh, non-core assets. So the, the locations themselves and the co-location of vital missions at those locations uh, bode well in an increasing spending environment for growth in mission, which is growth in contracts, which is growth in portfolio. So our, mission, our locations are you know, a key element of our investment strategy. And, and speaking of the, the portfolio, how would you describe the company's current balance in the portfolio between defense and urban office right now? Is it, is it where you want it to be? Do you expect that balance to shift? So we're not going to prescribe a mix. <clears throat> um, we do urban office investment, or we've moved to that because we saw opportunities to create value. And at the heart of our, our mission for shareholders is creating value for shareholders. So as those opportunities occur in locations that are relevant to us, we will engage in, in good value creation projects in the urban realm, but we're not going to force a percentage. So currently we're doing a, a joint venture development in downtown DC. We're going to start 2100 L, 190,000 square foot trophy office building in CBD, Washington next May. Uh, it's great opportunity to create value for our shareholders and we've got off to a fantastic start with our partner with a 43% pre-lease for the building, and we don't even start building it till next year. It'll deliver in 2020, and we have plenty of time to create value in that point of view. Steve, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, it's good to be here. For more information about NARIT's REIT world, be sure to visit NARIT's website, REIT.com.